10 games, an all-SEC schedule. Don't miss a minute of the action. The Vols play here on KC106. Scott Chase uh, from KG106, Bob Kessling called Rares Friday afternoons on the Roadshow. And we have it up on the All Balls page, of course, the uh, weekly podcast where we catch up with Tennessee football with my friend Dodger and the voice of the Tennessee Volunteers, Bob Kessling. Good morning, gentlemen. Hi, guys. How you doing? Good to see you. Well, we're doing well. 2020. I'm ready for 2021. How about you? I am, too. I think everybody is. Well, you know, it's again, it's day by day and. Uh, there were a lot of people that thought maybe this Tennessee Vanderbilt game wasn't going to get played this week because of all the the, the COVID situations, uh, really on both teams. But uh, they're scheduled to play, and they're going to go at it Saturday. Uh, Vanderbilt, uh, this is kind of their bowl game. And I guess it's a bowl game for both teams because Vanderbilt's looking for its first win of the season and Tennessee trying to break this losing streak. So, uh, And it's always you know a huge game for Vanderbilt, huge game for Tennessee down through the years. And and it's one of those games you just don't want to lose. It's a rivalry in state game, and you know these guys know each other, and they played against each other in high school, and so it's just a game you want to be ready to play. And uh, I think that uh, Tennessee uh, had some good things in the Florida loss, if they if you can't say that, but I think they they found some things that worked. Uh, they're I think they're encouraged by the quarterback play they got last week. Now they got to they got to take a step forward. And, um, you know, either J.T. Shroud or, or Harrison Bailey has to come up now and really prove that it's their job and that uh, they can take the take the reins and, and run with it. So that's going to be one of the interesting storylines in this game, just the quarterback situation. And and uh, Jeremy Pruitt said he might use all three of them again this week. So we'll see how that plays out. Well, let's face it, this is a week in which <clears> – <throat> Tennessee team needs to take advantage of. I mean, they've had some tough tough opponents. They've had some tough games over the last few weeks. This is a Vanderbilt team that they should go out and be able to play well against. And I think they need that confidence-wise. Well, I think so. I mean, Vanderbilt's last game, they just got plastered by Missouri, 41 to nothing. And, uh, uh, you know, they they have played hard. I'll, I'll give Vanderbilt credit. They have come up and they've given a lot of teams uh, problems all the way to the very end of the game. And there were several games they probably should have won, but they just didn't. They kept playing hard. Now, since they fired their coach, Derek Mason, uh, you know, they didn't play very well against Missouri. So uh, what kind of impact does that have? And um, how many guys this week are going to be in their lineup? I mean, they've been playing even the games they played. Uh, they've been around 50 to 60 players, and that's awfully hard to do in the SEC. So, um, but the Vanderbilt guys want to play and they want to get out there in the field and take a shot. And, you know, nobody wants to go over uh, in a season. So, you know, those Vanderbilt players have some and some pride and they don't want to go through this season and not win a game. So, you know, that they're motivated to come out and play hard on Saturday. What's the rivalry like in the locker room for these guys and these teams? You mentioned it just a little bit. They have played against each other, a lot of these guys in high school growing up. But this is, we've talked a little bit about rivalries kind of off the air a little bit. But this is a rivalry that's a little different. It's a Tennessee rivalry. It's these two schools. Uh, what's the rivalry like for these players as they're going through this? It's not Alabama. We know that. It's not Florida. But it's still something that's big for them, right? Well, I think they've heard, you know, growing up, you know, this is a game that Tennessee always wins and that they've dominated the series for so many years. And then suddenly Vanderbilt – jumps up a couple of years ago and they win three in a row. And now that, you know, Tennessee won last year, but Vanderbilt now has confidence, you know, they've beaten Tennessee. A lot of, you know, some guys on this team, the veteran guys on this team have know what it's like to beat Tennessee. And so they want to do that again. And, uh, and, but a lot of these guys have played against each other in high school. There are a lot of guys from the middle Tennessee area on both of these teams so they know each other, and that makes it even more special when you go up there and you've got uh, some guy across the line from you that you you grew up with as one of your one of your buddies, and now you got to try and and knock him on his backside. So uh, it, it's different, and it's and it's I think it's a it's a rivalry that it's just a game you don't want to lose, and because you don't want to hear about it for 365 days to get a chance to play him again next year. So what are the keys to the game this week? We we know that the balls need to find some quarterback play, the stability back there. The run game didn't quite perform up to expectations last week, but it has been there throughout the season. What are we looking at this week against Vanderbilt? Well, I think the key in the in the Florida loss was Tennessee's 
and it's been there all season long, inability to get off the field on third down defensively. Uh, you know, Florida converted a lot of third and longs against them and kept drives alive and kept went down and scored. Um, somehow Tennessee's got to figure out a way to, to, to get off the field and get the ball back. And that's been a problem all season long. And, uh, you know, Tennessee's been having to re kind of work the lineup with guys that have not been in there and guys have gotten injured or dismissed from the team and those type things. So they're still trying to, you know, plug and play a little bit on defense, but um, you, you can't keep uh, letting a team just march the ball down the field on you. You've got to make a, make a stand and get the ball back. And they've just not been able to do that on a consistent basis against good teams. Now, Vanderbilt's got a quarterback that they really like, Ken Seals. He's a freshman, and uh, he is putting up some pretty big numbers. And he seems to get, be getting better with every game. They've got a good running game. And so there's a lot of things to, to like about Vanderbilt's offense. Now, their offensive line, uh, you know, it's week by week who's going to play and who's healthy and who's going to be out there. But when they've got all their components on offense, they've got a good receiver in Cam Johnson. When, they, when they've got all their weapons out there, this is a pretty good Vanderbilt offense. And so, um, you know, Tennessee's got to make sure they get them off the field and not let them uh, take advantage of long scoring drives. And, and a thing that Tennessee has not been able to do, as we all know consistently, is take advantage of scoring opportunities and, and getting some turnovers. I mean, Tennessee still only has uh, two interceptions by their defensive backs which is one more than Vanderbilt's got. Vanderbilt has one interception on the year. So they've had problems taking the ball away from other teams too. But, you know, it, it's now in college football, they're throwing all these short passes and they're the crossing routes and those things. And it's not as easy to intercept passes as it used to be. But still, to win uh, in this league, you've got to create turnovers somehow. And that's something that Tennessee's not been able to do. These are two of the, the worst teams in the league in turnover margins, both are uh, in the negatives and that's, you, you'd rather be in the positive, more takeaways and giveaways. And, and these teams are on the opposite end of that. All right. The last thing I know Scott was really wanting to know is big bird going to be in attendance this weekend. <laughs> no, I think so. I, you know, I, I, I would say that the, the big bird will be swooping over to Nashville. That'd be good. Uh, I don't know how much luck it brought Tennessee last week, but that, at this point, it's 2020. Let's try Let's try everything, see what happens. <laughs> exactly. Bob, good to see you. Dodger, appreciate it. Bob Kessling, call on KZ 106, home of Tennessee football. Go Vols. Guys, thanks. Go Vols. Ten games and all SEC schedule. Don't miss a minute of the action. The Vols play here on KZ 106.